Hi guys, so wish you here and I'm here for my September bag tour. Now there's going to be one massive change this time because pretty much the whole of my barn has moved around other than of course my shelving unit, everyone's still in the same place there. Um, and a couple of things have stayed in the same place like my fields because I couldn't particularly move them but big change of where stables are set out and stuff like that but I hope you enjoy. So we're going to go from here. Um, so to start off with, we have our sign, what says Silver Shoe Farm, and then our um, like list of what we offer and whatnot, so you can kind of read it yourself. Um, and then we have a caution guard dog sign, because we do have uh, one guard dog and one in training. And then we just have like a little display thing at the front. Um, oh, it just has a pile of wood there, what's so I guess. Um, so I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go around this way today. Well, that's where I normally go around, but over here we have the area where we keep um, our trucks and trailers. So we just have a sheltered area for the ones what will get wet. So we have the slice tran, uh, slice kind of cart, um, Sylvanian one, what I have to make my own harness for, and then we have the I Love Pony car, and then the I Love Pony trailer. What a slight modification as I've like. It has a little kind of, um, I can never get this off, just a clip so they can be attached on. And then if you can kind of see, it's got some straw at the bottom. Um, and they all just kind of line up over here. And uh, this is just for the um, 2014 stable. Just adds on the top. Yep. And then we just have two signs, so saying the speed limit and caution horses. So um, now over here we have our um, riding school, this is normally either used for the borders, use it or it's normally used for flat work. Um, so at the moment we have Anne, who is the Bolton instructor who not specialised in the flat work stuff, is um, with their taking Sky, who's this horse, who's also known as Working Wonders. and with she used to do vaulting in her previous like owner before she came to Hannah um, here so Hannah's going to start learning to vault so today she's just going on the um, lunge and just having a sit on the back of Sky and getting Sky back to just having someone on with a vaulting set she's going to have someone come over soon to do a bit of vaulting on the back of the Sky to get her used to it again so yep, so we've got Hannah, Sky and Anne, and then no one else is in the other end of the school. So over here we have um, two areas. We have our dog pen for the dogs of helpers and riders to go when they um, are either riding or helping or just can't be in the situation where they are. So at the moment we have uh, three dogs in here. This is Heidi, um, Jade's dog, and Holly also is Jade's dog. We'll, and then we have um, Buddy. I always get those two Buddy and Bobo mixed up. This is Buddy, this is Emma's dog. Uh, they also have a water bowl and then like some comfy area in the sheltered area, which just doesn't have a roof on because I can't find the roof. Um, in here we have the Fallabella pen. So they have a little sheltered area here and the roof comes off and in here we at the moment we have Emerald or my precious gem, she is the little foal um, and they just have straw at the back and then here we have Spot or Spot Adopt, we have Fairy Dust or Little Specks of Dust and then here we have Mouse or Gentle Giant. And then this is the little pen, then they have the water trough at the back, and then a feed trough at the front, and then all their tags here. Uh, just over here we have, um, this is Nia, she is just taking the bucket, and I can't get it to stand up again. Yeah, uh, she's just taking a bucket of feed over to um, feed the Falabellas. And then we have our twin sister Mia over here who's taking a bucket of feed to feed the Mustangs who I'm going to get to in a minute. So over here we have <coughs> sorry about that, our Mustangs pen. Um, and here we have Oscar and Elliot. So this is Elliot. 
or fight or flight is his show name and then over here we have Oscar or a chance to be free um, Elliot was named um, sorry Oscar was named after my horse is my word I think what the channel was I would link it down below just to check out but she gave me the idea for that one and then Elliot I came up with myself because I think they kind of went together really sweet but anyway this is their field they have just a little kind of inside area over there and then they have a feed trough here um, and Ben has been working with Jade who kind of Jade bought these two to look after and she's been kind of getting used to them and he is slowly getting there and he's also trying to introduce having the dogs around Hence, this is why we have Myrtle, who's Ben's dog. And then Mia's just bringing a bucket of feed over so Ben can have a go feeding them. But normally he just goes into this pen over here and then feeds them over the side. Makes it a little bit easier. But yeah, that is the Mustang pen. So over here um, is our ret retired pony pen. Um, so we just have a sign on the front saying, please don't feed the horses. We have it one for over here because if you try and feed the mustangs you may have your fingers bitten off and for these guys because they are on special diets being that they're on quite a lot of supplements to keep them all healthy because they were qu quite old but in here we have Tom or Finding Directions he is the Arabian um, gelding and then here we have Mike um, or Best Mate he is the retired pony uh, well trained pony and we have Skippy or Boxing Match, the retired Pinto. And then this is Jester, or Chuckling and Laughter. She is just a Pinto mare, but I've retired her at my bar myself. And she has the fly rug on because she struggles quite a lot with sweet itch. So it is there because she has really sensitive skin, so I want to keep her warmer in the winter. But she does switch rugs in the winter, what she'll be doing soon, as it's getting quite chilly. Um, but in their pen they have a hay bar and a bit of hay on the floor and then over here they have a water trough and I'm going to probably get some little toys for them to put in their um, like area so yeah um, over here um, next to the retired pony pen we just have a kind of temporary pen set up for little cinnamon here as she has got um, really bad laminitis on her foot, what's caused her to get abscesses. Um, so she's had to have her foot taped up to keep it nice and healthy. So she's not allowed to do too much running around. So she's got been moved out of her normal pen um, and down into. So she has a little bit of time out, but she doesn't have very long out here. And then she'll be moved back into her temporary pen. So this is her little area. Okay, so over here just outside uh, my stallion barn, I have um, Amy who is just taking out Tybat um, to take out for a hack and she's going to go out with Sam who is going to get her his horse who you'll see in a bit. But she's just taking him over to the school where there will be somewhere she can get on and she just got her dog Charlie with her. Uh, so now we're going to go inside the barn. So this is my stallion man, it has actually got a gelding in, as I explained most times if you've seen my barn before. Um, Magic, the Lestana gelding, doesn't fit in where he would go being gelding, so I've kind of switched it around a little bit, so I kind of say here's a gelding, so he's been moved out here. So in here we have Jack, or Pocket Rocket, he is my um, Arabian. We have Drummer or Beat the Drum, the Hanovian, and this is Cracker or Bolts and Lightning. Uh, this is Chester's Stable and Magic Stable. This is Sandwich or PB&J. He is the Mini Shetty Stallion. And my little escape artist is trying to escape out his stable again. But I'm sure someone will stop in in a minute. Over here we have Bubbles or Pop the Bubble, the Dartmoor Stallion. This is Phantom Stable, this is Tybat Stable. Here we have Charlie Brown, uh, or Big and Bold, he is my Tinker Stallion. We have Runway, um, 
or born flight. The quarter horse salad, his head collar seems to have half fallen off though, because he's missing the back of his nose. We'll have to fix that in a minute. Um, and then this is domino or falling pieces. And here's the architect stallion. I get his name mixed up with the um, foals name because they're very similar. So yeah, this is my guiding van. Quick look over. And um, we'll move on. So this over here is, um, may have said before, as I had it, it's slightly different setup. This is the borders area. So we have all of our border horses here. Um, we also have another borders area, like back on the actual shelving unit, what you'll see later. Um, but this is our my main area for border horses. We have um, one field and maybe get put in another one in this side. And then we have three sets of stables. And yeah, I will just show you around. So this is the first of the stables. This is a little four block area um, for borders. This is Apollo or Making Memories. He's the Appaloosa sign. He is Zoe's horse. This is Morello or Electric Blue. This is uh, Sam's horse. This is Daisy's stable. Um, she is on loan to Zoe. Um, and she's going to do lots more dressage. And then this is Miss Stable, who is owned by Jess. So just outside the four block at the moment, we have Sam over here. Just zoom out so you can focus it more. And he is taking Spirit, um, who is a horse on loan to uh, Sam is taking him on for a bit but um, he's going to be taking, loaning him out to someone else and then his is his dog Sydney and I forgot to say Spirit's show name is Atlanta so this is the back of um, Jade stable as you will see in the front side of it I just can't really show it to you very easily as I don't fit in that little gap but that is the front of it um this is what we basically call jade's barn because it's full of all of jade's horses um jade basically does own the yard but this is where she keeps all of hers so this first stable is buttons buttons is stable and um his show name is wise words sorry not wise words mighty words Different horses got wise words. Um, he is just an abstrapper, um, and he's on loan to Jade, but she might be buying him soon. And uh, their stables consist of having a hay bale, some straw, feed trough, and a water tr uh, water trough. And they also have a um, area for pushing saddles and bridles. And then they also have a run outside. The other side is slightly different as it links onto the field. But I will show that to you in a minute. But over here we have Lightning. Um, or Zeus's Bolt. He is the Trachna Stallion. And he... Yep. Yeah, um, and he is one of Jude's, Jade's new horse. So she's um, retraining. Um, and yeah, his stable is the same again. So over here... We have um, this one is Flicker Stable, but Flicker's out at the moment. Um, and her door is closed at the moment to stop other horses getting in. And then this is Venus's stable, and again, her door is closed. So, um, the only thing that Flicker has slightly different in her stable is that she has a salt lick. We may actually move outside into the field. So, um, with their stables they have a bigger run because Venus and Flicker are sisters and their foals get on so well um, they have a bigger run so it comes open like this and the gate can be closed and then oh it, well, it does, doesn't close very easily but it does close and then they could just have this area if they want to put like stallions out in this field but when there's like um, just the mares and stuff, they leave it open so Flicker and that lot can just go in and out but as they're not here at the moment they've closed their doors to stop the other horses going in because normally 
they when Flicker and Venus are out, the other horses know not to go in their stables, but they kind of test it a little bit when they're not here. Um, so over here we have Venus's foal. This is a uh, fade on Medusa's eyes. She is a nubstrapper foal, but she looks so cute with Venus. I've left her there. Um, and then this is Midnight or Midnight Stalker. She is Flicker's foal, and she is a Frisian foal. Um, over here we have Daisy. This is the horse who Zoe is learning. She is the nubstrapper mare, and her show name is Mystic Dream. Um, and over here, even though he technically is a stallion, um, he kind of says the gelding, but he can't really do too much to mist. Sorry, not mist. To dream, his name is Mist. He can't. Yeah, he can't do very much as he's so tiny. But he goes out because he gets on with the foals and stuff, and there's never been an issue with him before. So he can go out anyway, and he sometimes gets bullied by the bigger boys where he doesn't bite the girls, so he can come out with them. But that is basically their field. Okay, so over here we have um, the two block stable. This is the last one of the borders in this area, and this is where Spirit lives in this first one. And then over here we have Mac, or Rock and Roll. Sorry about the dogs, my someone is probably coming to the door. Um, this is Mac, or Rock and Roll, and he is um, on loan to Molly. Um, from Sam because Sam rescued these two and one of them is on loan to Molly for now and then the other one Sam hasn't loaned out yet but uh, yeah so that is uh, Mac so now I'm going to go back to the main area of the yard okay so over here um, so going into the borders area because to get out hacking you normally have to go through there and round Okay, so over here, these little group I to talk about in a minute are going out and hack. So they're just going into the borders area, so normally you have to go round through through there. Normally, they would be told to like wait until they're out there to get on, but because of the horses they're on, um, it's they're pretty okay to go through. More, you may have to duck her head, but there's not a very big mountain block over there, so she can't get on for, on him. Um, and she can be a little bit anti-pants, so it's just easy just to get on her and go. And I've just knocked everyone over. And that's not going to be an issue of size with her. Um, so we have got three people going out. And as these guys normally go out on hacks together on these actual three ponies, that um, they've been nicknamed the Bay Brigade because they all go out on bay ponies. And I now can't get April to stand up. Okay, I'll do April first. So this is April, and uh, she's my basking curly mare, and her show name is Ember's Burn, and she's being ridden by Millie, who is um, her primary rider. She rides her quite a lot, um, and she is going out. Okay, she's now not going to stand up, so we're going to just we're have to just lean her against the thing. There you go. Um, we also have. Uh, this is Jess, and she is riding Locket. For well, Valentine's Day, she's a little Shetland pony. Um, and she just loves going out on hats because she doesn't get to do very much. Um, she doesn't really do much too much riding because there's not much she can do, so she goes out on lots of hacks. And this is the thing that slightly annoys me, which is the fact that the dog is bigger than the horse. But, uh, this is Jess's dog, Dotty, who's coming out on the hack as well. Um, a very large dog. Jess could probably ride the dog. And over here we have Molly, who is taking Clover or Chance to Shine out. Um, the, he's a Clydesdale gelding. He's the retired Clydesdale gelding. Um, and he doesn't do too much work other than the carriage other than going out for hacks. So again, she goes takes him out for a hack quite a bit. And then this is Molly's dog, Bobo. Um, so yeah, this is the little group who's going out, who's now kind of lost their formation, as I can't get April to stand up. But yeah, these are these, and so now we're going to move into the mare's barn. Okay, so here we have the mare and foal barn. Um, so to start off we have, well it's a very dusty barn, as you can kind of see it needs a bit of a clean, but I haven't got around to cleaning it for a little bit, be my job later. But um, we have Smokey, um... 
or smoking chimney. She is the Lipizzana mayor. Uh, this is her fall twilight or fighting to survive. Um, this is polo or popping candy. This is patch or patchy's dream. They're tinkers. This is uh, the Arabian stable. This is the Andalusian stable who you'll see later. The Alcatake stable. Here we have my Camogue mare and fall we have snow Snowball or Can't Be Tamed and her fall is Chocolate or Hot Pudding. Um, here we have Coco or White Noise and her fall is Marshmallow or Curse of the Treats, they're the Tennessee Walking Horses. There we've got t uh, Dolly or Melanie Day and this is her fall uh, Sapphire and I can never remember her show name. Um, here we've got Wish or Wish Me Luck and her foal uh, Moonshine or Luna Star. They are uh, the Lipizzanas. Uh, this is Cinnamon's Temporary Stable, what's kind of been put together with a cheap cross dies and some straw. As um, she can't be kept in a normal pen because her uh, horsey friend would just chase her around the whole time. It would be not good for a leg. Um, over here we have Jasper or Daydream Dancer and her foal is Conker or Golly Gosh. Um, here we have Chestnut or Love Connection, her mum is just out at the moment. Uh, here we have Dream or Mama Lady in Pink and her foal is Destiny or Ballet Shoes. And then we have Maddie or Desert's Child and her foal is Brandy or First Noel. Um, here we have Juno or Trust in me and her fall is Talia or America's Last Chance. And this little guy who's just fallen over. Everyone seems to not want to stand up today. Um, here we have G Gypsy or Free Spirit and this is Toby or Toblerone. Um, here we have Rika or Wise Words and her fall Cloud um, or Shooting Arrow. Here we have got Rosie or Painted Perfection and Joey or Little Boy Blue. And then this is April Stable and this is April's Fall Bambi. Um, and I'm not completely sure what her show name is either. But that is my mare barn. So just outside my mare barn we have uh, two clips for tying up horses. Um, for attacking up and not lot. So here we have Cressy or Sixty Lives, and then she is being in, checked out by Zoe, who is being trained as doing her vet training. So all of our riders, once they turn eighteen, we give them basic um, vet training just if they're out on hikes and stuff, because um, most of them like to um, start doing their teacher training and then like instructor level. So they have to have a slight. We like them to have a slight vet training. So, like, if they're out on hacks with students and stuff, um, their students, they know um, what to do, so they're not going to end up having um, horses with injuries they can't fix. So, she has turned um, 18, so she's now having to be taught how to do quite a lot of this. She turned 18, and well, she's 23 now, so she has done this for a while, but she hasn't actually started the training, because we haven't had a vet for very long. There's a new thing that's been put in place. But here we have John, our vet, and his dog, um, Bruce. And then over here we have Chester, or Blue Dancer, being groomed by Lucy. So they're just having a bit of a groom. Um, yep, so this is the mare's area. So these are my two fields. At the moment we have turned this field into a concussion, concussion field now. These are my two fields. This is my stallion field and my mare field, but at the moment we've used this as a cross country field for just a little bit because we have some portable jumps um, and we have a couple of riders going out for a show, so um, Sarah being one of them wanted to have a little bit of a practice beforehand. So she is riding Fancy, the horse she's taking, or Bouquet of Flowers, she's the Andalusian. And she's just doing a bit of jumping over some jumps. And then Sarah's dog here, um, Rover, is just sitting in the little pen and watching. Uh, this, each of the fields do have 
a bed of hay and some water. But of course they're not being used as she's concentrating on jumping. But we're going to move over to the mare's field. I'm just trying to have nothing to go over. But um, at the mare's field we only have two horses at the moment. Um, we have Smarty. Or Speedy Samantha. She's my nub stripper. And then we have Lady All Luck Can Be Cured. And she is at um, the other horse going on to this show. Um, and I think... Millie might be taking her, I can't remember off the top of my head. But they have water and some hay. And then Heidi can wait here. Um take this round. Um actually, there we go. Um we have Maddie who is just cleaning out the box. Um so yeah, we just have the um Oh I can't think today. Wheelbarrow and then the brush and then she's got the fork. So that is Maddie the retired crew. So that is the field. So last but not least we have Split Field, what actually hasn't moved from its original place. It's just a likes place to put it. But in Split Field we have uh, My Arabian, so we have Tintin or Titans 4, we have Bella or Better Grey, and we have Dagota or Nature's Finest. Um in here we have Magic um, or Mission Impossible, the Lestano gelding, and then over here we have um, Cluedo or Mystery Solved, Huffle Ludo or Missing Pieces, and then we also have Fancy's Fault Star or Shooting Star, as um, Ludo and Star get on very well, and Star doesn't like being in her own on a stable. So, and then nobody's in this one, but that is just the ground floor. So now I'm going to move up onto the bookcase. So if this is the first time watching my channel, you may not know, but some of my horses I have mentioned live on a bookcase. So if you guys are new to my channel, quite some of my horses live on a bookshelf. Um, as you may see as I was going around, there isn't very much space left in my bedroom. I do have quite a bit a large bedroom, but with the amount of stuff I have it doesn't always fit so some of them have to live on a bookshelf what's well, kind of not practical but I just have to go with it so on this bottom one we have my other borders area so this is the border school it's only ever used um, by other like by the riding school if it really needed to but um, normally borders so this is Smudge um, or Cookies and Cream he is Jenna's horse he's a Hanovian that's Sky Stable this is Butterscotch or Winter's Creek. She is owned by Millie. And then this is Charmer or Charges of Fire. She is owned by Amy. Um, and then you would go up there to the next level. And then through here to my tack room. Well, it's not just it. My tack room, storage and feed room. So over this area we have my tack room. So it's where all my saddles are stored. Um, along here and on that rack down there then bridles along here and then at the moment in a big part the heat pile is just our um, harness for the trailer not for the cart sorry uh, and over here we have our cats the ginger tabby is toffee the brown tabby is bourbon and then the white and br uh, kind of blacky bottom you can see is oreo um, so here we just have some storage, the dog agility stuff, we have a blanket box and some treats up here. Uh, this is just a saddle horse where we keep our dressage saddle and then the boots are at the bottom. The boots are on there as I would lose them otherwise because so, they're very fiddly to lose. Um, we have a bin and some just some notes, all our feed bags at the bottom, some feed boxes on the side and some treats buckets and grooming kits and feed buckets and then we also have some trophies along the top and that is basically our feed room so this next level up has got um, the heavy horse area and then our first small pony pen so this is silver or treasure he's the Persian stallion 
Uh, this is Big Turtle Master Achievement, the Shy Stallion. And here we have Sugar Mouse or Sweet Touch and Blaze or Blazing Fire, the Shy Mare and Foal. Um, in here we have got um, Haley or Helping Hand. She is the um, Black Forest. Uh, she is owned by Grace. Um, uh, these three are owned by Madison, and then this is owned by Dan, who you'll see later. And then this is Moonlight or Winchester. He is an orphan foal who Haley took over. They went on so well; they've stayed together ever since. Uh, this is Platinum or Loose Touch, and her foal is Cold or Dark Mess. And then they are owned also by Dan. Um, Dan owns quite a lot of the heavy horses other than the Shires and the Black Forest horses. Uh, this is the Clydesdale Mare and Foal. We have Toffee or Baby Shoes and Blue or Champion X. This is Clover Stable and here we have Master or Master of Mischief. Uh, sorry, I'll change it's Master of Mayhem and his name is... Um, sorry... Um, his new name is, he's called Master, and his new show name is Mischief Mayhem. I changed that, and I always get a bit muddled up with that, and he's a Clydesdale. And at the front, we have got Dusty, or Dust Devil. So, over here, we have our small pony pen. Um, and someone's just had a little bit of the flops. But, um, we have all of their tags up there. But we have kiwi um, or sweet treats. We have frosty or frosty the snowman. This is Albert or Alberta the second. Um, we have coffee or rush of a lifetime. Uh, brownie um, or chocolate delight. Uh, we have blueberry or stained glass. And then Caramel or Galaxy Starts. So that is their little pen. This is also where Cinnamon normally lives. But Cinnamon and Apple, sorry Albert, like to chase himself around quite a lot. So we've had to move them. So this next level has got our three block area, our wash bay. And then we have our Shetland pen. So in here we have, which I'll show you over the top. We have, uh, this is... Um, bow or biscuit snap and his fall is cricket or checkerboard and they're the R days uh, this is um, my Pinto Stallion this is um, Le Allegro or Legacy and then this is my Pinto Mare this is um, Abbey or Native Heart um, and then this is just the spare area um, over here we have two dogs which is knocked over who are just playing so the this one is Millie's dog Snoopy and then this is Rosie who's Jenna's dog um, Millie's dog gets really on with Rosie so they spend quite a lot of time together and um, here we have Jenna who is giving Phantom a good wash and we just have a grooming kit here and then we have Phantom or Phantom of the Opera the Frisian and then the wash bay um, over here we have the pen and um, we have, this is a custom I did, um, this is Arrow or Bow and Arrow, we have um, Knight or My Knight in Shining Armour, we have Soda or Ginger Beer, this is Minstrel or Pied Piper and her foal is Jigsaw, sorry it's Puzzle or Jigsaw Puzzle, um, over here we have Chip or Tiny Potential, this is Penny or Teacher's Pet and this is Henry or Minus Frolic. So this is basically the Shetland pen. This is also where Locket lives. So on this level we have my kind of school pony barn and then my little kind of pen for my exotic style ponies. Um, so here is the pen. This is like the stable door. So open and close. It's just this is just a kids' globe stable. Um, it's not actually the slash one. 
but um, the slush ponies kind of do fit, it's a little bit small but it works. So here we have Dan, he's the carriage driving person and he is got his dog Denton here and this is Emma and she is just booking a lesson and um, so she has one for tomorrow. Now this is Lady's stable, this is Marty's stable, this is Sunshine or Sour Sugar, she's in Halflinger. This is my Iceland Icelandic pony, Evie or Evelyn Star. Um, and then this is Lily, uh, she's just a girl, like feeding a carrot and she's just feeding Evie a carrot. Over here we have Pos uh, River or Poseidon Stream, we have Wendy or Gale Force, this is Sparky or Spark the Night. This is Storm Stable, and then here we have Tinker or Lucky Chap. So over here and through these doors, you'll come out in what we kind of known as our exotic pet kind of area. Um, so here we have um, my donkeys and zebras. We rescued these from a ze uh, circus because they were just going to be put down, but we thought we'll just take them on and give them somewhere to live out the rest of their years. We don't like to make them do tricks or anything. We occasionally take them out to do charity events. More, the, more with the donkeys than the zebras, but we don't like to make them do any tricks. So over here we have Grace, she is the feeding helper, like feeding groomer she's known as, she's just going to feed them, since they've all kind of come round. So in here we have got Lucy or Last Wish, Felicity or Felicity Wishes, here we have Zigzag um, or Racing Stripes, and then we have um, Stripes or Africans Plane and then over here we have Grace's dog Princess and then we're going to move up a level so this last level up here is our school normally it gets split into two when it's not like being used by more than one person but it's not very busy today it's just been left open um, this is normally where we have jumping done as all our jumps are left up here so at the moment we have Jade, who is this person here, taking three of her horses um, just to do some trick training. She does little shows with them and she's just doing a bit of practice. So here we have Venus or Goddess of Love. And we have Flicker or Forever Wild. This is Storm or Storm Warning. And they are doing some jumping. Um, so where she kind of runs... And they kind of follow around and they do tricks, so like they will stop and when she brings her arms up they'll rear or they'll like different tricks and they all work together as a big team. And she's just doing a bit of practice with some jumps because Storm is quite new to all of this and she wants to do, they normally do work on their own as well, but to get Storm used to it, he's bring, she's bringing the other two out with them as well. So this is basically... Um, my barn so I will give you a quick overview and then I will end the video Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed my barn tour for September. So, a couple of things um, I just wanted to say. I want to say just thank you for kind of watching. Also, um, I wanted to just say if there's any of you guys doing photo shoots and you're wanting some more people, just comment down and let me know. Comment on other photo bit shoot videos. I don't have that when entering. I find it quite fun setting up videos for photos. Um, another thing is, you may have saw during the video, some horses had hair collars on, some horses didn't. Um, for example, we have um, her collar on, and then we have her collar off. I'm just wondering, what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer the horses have hair collars on, or do you prefer them to have them off? What are you guys' opinion? Because I'm either going to have to have another sit down and get some... 
um, more bands out to fix some more head colours because quite a lot of them snap or if you think I should just leave them off let me know um, yeah um, also give me some ideas what you think for themes for videos I want some ideas to see what you guys think to add to my videos also let me know for video suggestions I'm always interested in to know what you guys would like me to do so I hope you enjoyed this and like, comment, subscribe. Peace.